electronic signs along Metro Atlanta interstates, we know they can be encouraging or a bit of bad news. <laughs> Depending on the day, right? <laughs> You've no doubt passed some of those electronic signs to let you know how long it's going to take to get you from point A to point B during your commute. Yeah, it could be anybody's guess, right? <laughs> but how do they know? How can they calculate so specifically? Jerry Carnes is live along I-75 in Henry County to explain. Good morning, Jerry. Uh, good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Aisha. We are on a section of I-75 here in Henry County that has both the toll lanes and the regular lanes, so a lot of electronic signs out here. We passed one just a couple of minutes ago that told us we would enjoy a 67 mile per hour ride along this section of 75 at this hour. We're actually going a little bit faster than that. There are other signs uh, that tell you it will take you 5 or 10 or 20 or sometimes 30 minutes to get from one point to another. Those signs change constantly depending on traffic. The technology has changed as well. They warn you about nasty weather, alert you to construction work in your path. Sometimes they add a little humor to your commute. Electronic road signs can even peek into your future. This sign is telling me it's going to take five to seven minutes to get to Hudson Bridge Road. On I-75 in Henry County, electronic signs provide optimism. Actual time four minutes and 28 seconds, a little faster than expected. It's GDOT's high-tech way of letting you know if you're running late. Here's how it works. Metro Atlanta's interstates are lined with cameras and radar. They measure how fast traffic is moving along different sections of interstate. A computer algorithm then calculates the drive time from point A to point B. We are always monitoring the system for anomalies um, and to make sure that the algorithm is performing to our standards. In areas that aren't monitored by cameras or radar, GDOT depends on information provided by you. Apps on your cell phone ask you to share your location. Your car probably has technology that tracks your movements through GPS and other means. A third party collects the data emitting from your vehicle and provides it to GDOT to calculate highway speeds and drive time. GDOT's Natalie Dale says the data does not identify you. But that probe data doesn't come to us as any specific cell device or any specific car device. It's sort of this stretch of road is working this way. No, we, we would not be able to tell whose cell phone, what car. A wreck on the road ahead will quickly change travel times. That's why GDOT is constantly collecting information and updating the signs every 20 seconds. There's another look at I-75 northbound here through Henry County. We are just now passing Hudson Bridge Road. Over the years, going back to when I was uh, serving 11 Alive as commuter dude about four years ago, I would constantly test to see how accurate those signs were. Amazingly, they, they're pretty accurate. I got to tell you guys, every time I, I see a sign that says uh, 15 to, to 17 minutes, it, it would usually be right on the mark. So uh, it, it just amazingly accurate. It's incredible to hear in your story they change that every 20 seconds with those updates. It makes you feel confident knowing that as you're trying to figure out how long it's going to get you to take somewhere that those signs are, are helping giving you the information you need. Jerry, thanks a lot. Stay safe out there this morning.